Okay, so here's a nice little tool that might be beneficial for you when creating your survey and getting people to respond to your survey. Uh, you can do it electronically. Uh, so instead of uh, you know creating your survey in Microsoft Word, emailing that document off to people, have them write in it, and then getting it back, you can use a survey uh, tool like SurveyMonkey to create the survey and then uh, just send people a link to the survey and they can comp complete it online. What that does is tabulate all the results for you in a quick and easy way. So I find it very beneficial to use a web tool like SurveyMonkey to do research and to, to obtain information through surveys. So if you want to use it, I encourage you to use it. Just go to SurveyMonkey.com and uh, create a free account. It's perfectly free. You don't have to pay anything. Just log in and uh, you'll get to your, your home screen. So you can see my home screen here. I've got one survey created and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But you want to start and create your first survey. Just click on this create survey button. It asks you to, to add a name. Let's say uh, T survey select a category this basically just marketing research and then uh, continue so now it gives survey design you can change the template the colors and that that sort of thing and uh, you can add pages I always just use one page for my surveys and then just go ahead and start adding questions so click on add question you type in the the question let's ask the question do you drink tea. Uh, what type of question? In most cases you're using multiple choice so you're going to give the uh, user uh, choices to select and you want them to select one of them. So in this case it's multiple choice. It's going to be a yes or a no answer. And then it gives you answer options. So what are what are the choices? And, and put each choice on a separate line. Well one choice is yes, the other choice is no. Um, that's it. Okay save add another question what is your favorite brand of tea and again multiple choice so tetley perhaps and uh, and you can go into other brands of tea, as many as you want. I'm going to include Tetley or just another category for other, and then save. So this survey is only going to have two questions. Your survey will most likely have three, four, five questions, perhaps even more. So those are the questions. Those are the options. When that is done, you can preview the survey. It's only a two-question survey. So there it is, T-Survey. When you send the link to someone to, to respond, this is what they'll see. And they'll be able to click and select Done. So exit the survey. And then to finish, just click on Send the Survey. And it gives you a, a web link. This is the link where your survey is housed. You can copy it. Then email that off to the class. Email the link off to friends and family and ask, can you please respond to my survey? And that's it. It's done. Easy way to get create a survey and get the survey out to people. Okay, I'm going to go back uh, to my surveys and show you a, an example of, of collection of, of data. So coffee survey, this is a survey I've already created and I have responses. So if I click on collect responses, again I can go in and, and get grab that link again. If I need to send it to more people, I can send the link and ask them to do it. But the results are in this tab, Analyze Results. And you see that all your results are tabulated quite nicely. Now you can transfer that to a, uh, Microsoft Excel, create your, uh, your graphs, your pie charts, and that sort of thing, and uh, go on from there. So SurveyMonkey is a nice tool, nice easy way for you to uh, to create surveys and uh, to distribute surveys and collect the results in a very, very simple and quick fashion.